Just a few hours, those ballots will be mailed out to Oregonians for the upcoming election, which means voters will soon be electing a new governor. Now it's expected to be a neck and neck race, and candidates have been working hard to drum up support from hosting local events to the hosting national politicians as well. Fox 12's Drew Marine tells us more about the efforts all three gubernatorial candidates have made in the last week. All three gubernatorial candidates have pulled out all the stops ahead of ballots hitting Oregon mailboxes this week. In local and national polls, Republican gubernatorial candidate Christine Drazen is leading over Democratic candidate Tina Kotek by as many as eight points. Tuesday night, Drazen hosting notable Republican Governor Glenn Youngkin from Virginia to drum up more support. Hundreds turned up to hear what Drazen has to say on several campaign points from homelessness to crime. Immediately on day one, issue a homelessness uh, emergency. That will give me as governor the opportunity and frankly the power to be able to align all of the various entities that are out there, state and local governments, to ensure that we look at our 14,000 unhoused folks on our streets and we don't see them as one big number but as individuals and that we help progress them from houselessness to supportive services, supportive houses, and stability, and the dignity of work. Young can beat out a Democratic gubernatorial candidate in the last election, which is the first time a Republican has won a statewide election since 2009. And he says Oregon is ready to do the same. Nobody thought that a Republican governor candidate could win in Virginia. Sound familiar, Oregon? And we stood up last year, and it is your turn to stand up now. His visit comes on the heels of a visit from President Joe Biden, who came to Portland to talk about the Inflation Reduction Act and to back Tina Kotek. Hello, Portland. And just yesterday, independent Betsy Johnson hosting a roundtable with local business owners to talk about the impacts crime has had on the downtown core's economy and how state and city leaders have not been working together. The day after the election, I would call those guys together and say, well, we're all fighting about what's the best methodology and who's got the smartest idea about how to do this. We've got people literally dying on the streets. Don't forget, if you haven't already, today is the last day to register to vote in Oregon. You just have to do so before midnight on the Secretary of State's website. In Aurora, Drew Marine, Fox 12 Oregon.